Hey guys, Brad M73 here. Today is October 2nd, 2016. Uh, Giant Software released their newest wave of confirmed vehicles uh, two days ago back on September 30th, but I've been busy and uh, we're just getting caught up. We got a big list this week, tons of new things, uh, some really cool new equipment, and so let's get started. As always, I always like to go through every little bit just to kind of show... Um, you know, each week. That way it's just kind of easier for me to kind of catch up with things. And, and this is, you know, straight off the Farming Simulator website. So you can go to farming-simulator.com and you can get uh, whatever the current, or, you know, you can see whatever the current vehicles are. So um, let's get started. Agco this week is the same. Amazon is the same. Arcusen is the same. Bergman is also the same. Brantner still the same <laughs> bridal however we actually have a new fertilizer spreader i want to i wish we could click on these and get like you know two or three extra screenshots but no uh, it's the k165 it's got a capacity of 17,000 liters and it you know it's probably just like uh the smaller one just probably just spits it out the back you know kind of in a wave uh so that's pretty cool uh capello is still the same with all the headers the the uh nicholas caruel or caruel nicholas uh case still all the same stuff challenger however uh we do have the mt 800 e now which is a i believe it's a slightly more powerful tractor yes than the uh this mt 700 so this might be kind of the well, it's going to be the medium one, uh, still in between the super big boy down here, even though, you know, the, the, um, uh, the MT-900 really isn't that much more powerful. Uh, still cool to see. I love those big track tractors. Uh, we also get a new Dutes far this week with the 7 Series. Uh, if you guys have Farming Simulator 15, you're very, you know, aware of what the uh, 7 Series is. Uh, let's see here. DFM, everything is still the same with the tree cutters. Uh, we have a new brand this week, Einbach, which uh, have these weeders. that Now, they kind of look like cultivators, but they actually have, like, these little fingers, um, which you probably won't really be able to see in the video, and unfortunately, we can't click on that to expand it. Um, hopefully, there'll be, like, a dev blog kind of explaining how uh how this the weeders work now we have seen it uh referenced before that you know occasionally we will have to de-weed our fields uh in order to increase uh crop production but um really that's about it uh, we can also notice that there's like a little tank on this one with some tubes going up so i don't know if that is for fertilizer or you know exactly what it is i don't really know i didn't look go and look up the einbach um prior to doing this so if you guys know what the uh pneumatic star 900 does and why it's got the little tank and the tubes uh leave it in the comment section that would be awesome next up farm tech still the same however we do have some new offerings from fent in the 300 vario line it's a lower end tractor 110 to 138 horsepower um i'm just really glad that we're going to have uh, a wide variety of Fent uh, tractors, and I'm hoping I'm keeping my fingers crossed. I think Fent makes some combines. That would be that would actually blow my mind if we got Fent combines. I haven't seen any um, uh, any hints from Giants that that we would get one, but still keeping my fingers crossed. Uh, Fliegel uh, is the same. Let's see here, Grimma still all everything the same. Heizomat, yep, that's the same. Horsch. Uh, we get the uh, the Tiger uh, cultivator, the Tiger 10 LT. It's a 10.2 meter, so it's a pretty big cultivator. Uh, probably not the biggest one we're getting, but uh, still pretty big. Uh, Hurleymon is still the same with the new tractors. See Husqvarna, JCB. Yes, we get the wheel loader this week. Right here, we've got the uh, 435S wheel loader. I was really keeping my fingers crossed that they would bring that into Farming Sim 17. And um, they definitely have. And I'm not sure if there were any new tools. I actually forgot to check those. But um, the wheel loader is the biggest, you know, the biggest news from JCB this week. Uh, Jens, same. Jonesard, the same. Joskin, I think, is still the same. 
Uh, yes, and Karcher, same. Kokerling, the same. Garant, yep, you're the same. Kampa, you are still the same. Agriliner, still the one tipper. However, we do have the Corona uh, this week with the uh, the Big X 580 um, with all the headers and the you know the forage headers and everything. Um, I'm still hoping that we're going to get some Kroner Balers, but I don't know if we will or not. Uh, Kuhn, still the same as last week. Uh, Cavernland, we've got the Optima here. Or no, which one is it? The Optima DL, I think, is, is was the new one. I think. Uh, we've got Lamborghini, which is new for this week. The Mach VTR. This was usually a pre-order bonus. Uh, for previous versions of Farming Sim, it looks like it's going to be stock in the game. I, yeah, the yeah this one was the pre-order bonus version. Uh, Lely, nothing new there for this week. Um, Lemkin, big news. We actually get a sewing machine from Lemkin, the Solitaire 12, which is a 12-meter working with uh, cedar. So looking super forward to that. Uh, let's see here. Lee Bear. Uh, we also get the we the wheel loader from Lee Bear, the L five thirty eight. You guys should be familiar with that one. Uh, we also get something new from Lizard. We get this uh, <laughs> cement barrel front weight. Uh, I believe this is kind of going to be just a universal front weight. It's going to go on pretty much any tractor uh, that we can throw it at. <clears throat> uh, let's see here. Next up, Magzi. We also have something new. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. We've got the log fork, the pallet fork, and the uh, uh, the universal shovel. This is this would be for the wheel loaders like the uh, JCB or the New Holland. Uh, or no, not the New Holland. The uh, Lee Bear. Sorry about that. <laughs> Hopefully, we'll get a New Holland wheel loader as well. Uh, Manitou is the same. Massey's the same. Metal Tech. Uh, I think we're the same up to New Holland where we get the T9, the uh, the large wheeled New Holland. So good to see that one coming back. Uh, no wheel loader, unfortunately, yet. Uh, Pottinger, all the same as last week. Ponzi, Rastelmash, Salford. <laughs> Uh, the uh, same, sorry, I'm just, I just, every time I say Rostelmash, I'm like, Rostelmash, uh, Sampo, Rosenlu, uh, we do have the, uh, oh gosh, the HR46X, uh, tree cutter here, in, so it's in 40, forestry equipment, uh, it's, uh, 114 horsepower, 15 kilometers per hour, actually, I want to go up and look at the, um, Where is it? Where is it? Where? Uh, I totally, I'm t my mind just went completely blank. Da -da 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 oh, Ponzi. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I wanted to compare it to the Ponzi Scorpion. So yeah, this is 286 horsepower. So it's going to be interesting to see, like, if this one won't do, like, the biggest trees or something like that. I'm, I would imagine that it will, but, uh, you know, you just never know. Um, okay, sorry about that. Steppa, we saw this, uh, the forestry trailer from last week. Stair, uh, still the same. Still, this is new. Uh, we saw this in the uh, uh, one of the fact sheets, I think, this week. Uh, or last week, uh, so awesome! I'm so glad this will be my only chainsaw on the game. Um, Stroutmans are also new. We got the manure spreader with the 32,000 liter capacity. It just spreads sprays the uh, like the dry manure out the back. Um, we also have the uh, the forage wagon, the loading wagon, the the TV CFS. 5201 with a capacity of 50,000 liters. Nice and big. Definitely uh, looking forward to seeing that one. Uh, almost everything is the same. T Sewer, Tatra, Tom, Thunder Creek, uh, Ursus, uh, see Valtra. Or I'm sorry, Vaderstad is still the same. Valtra, however, we do actually get the new S-Series here, which I think might be their larger... Yeah, this is their largest uh, series, I think. 
So that'll be pretty cool. Uh, Vicon, Vogelnut, Zetter, and Zunhammer are all the same. So that's it uh, for the September 30th, 2016 update. Again, a couple days late. Sorry about that, guys. Just, you know, been busy doing stuff. Um, as always, if you love these videos, please do not forget to hit the thumbs up button. Please subscribe for this and much more Farming Simulator 17 news. I want to say goodbye for now. I'm Bradham73. We'll see you next time. See you guys.